Hello guys, RabbitWiz here. Today I'm going to show you how to import an architectural rivet model or link it into your structural rivet model. So let's go to new. You can go to browse and select any structural template you like. Or if you've created your own one, you're more than welcome to use that. But for this example, we're going to use the template that's already been provided by Revit. I'm going to click OK to open it. Then from here, we're going to go to manage, manage links. And then we're going to say, make sure we're on the Revit tab. I'm going to say add. Then you need to scroll to find the folder where you've actually saved your, your architectural model in. For this example, we're going to use this specific file. Then you can choose any of these four options. I'm just going to choose center to center for the example. Then we're going to say open, loading. Then you'll see it will be loaded here. Then we would say, okay, now that it's loaded in, we can make sure that our levels are also on the same plane. So for this example, we're going to check the level of the architect. So their level one is at zero, where our level one is also at zero, which is great news, which means our levels line up with the architectural model. But let's say, for instance, it did not line up. I'm just going to move this model just to the top. Now, what you can do is you can literally align the drawing. So we're going to say, modify align al for the keyboard shortcut you can go and click then on your level your structural level then you would click on the architectural level that you want to snap to so then you're going to see level one which is zero the architect drawing is at our level one which is at zero just move this out to have a better look like that so here you can clearly see our levels line up but if you want to add more levels seeing that the architect has more levels so you have the same reference point you can click on this level and you say cs keyboard shortcut which is create similar you go up here to the top you say pick lines and then we will click on the architectural level, click on that button so it shows your level. Then you would see we actually don't need ceiling. You can add it if you want. I don't usually add it because we're only working with structural elements. Then we can also add the foundation. Click on it, just click that tab, and you'll see it's open or snap your level to the architectural level. Now you're going to see. We've created two new levels, which is essentially level three and level four. You're going to see here in the left hand corner, there's also floor layout plan that's been created for level three and level four. So why this happens is because you created a, a new level for this specific layout. But just to show you guys the difference, you can if I click on this level and I say copy CO for keyboard shortcut, I copy this up to let's say to the ceiling level. There it is. Just gonna put it on here. You will see that this one is black and that one is blue. So the difference between the two is blue one is related to a structural plan floor, where this one isn't because we copied the level. If I click on this blue one and right click I can say go to floor plan and it opens that specific level so if we go just go back to the east elevation again if I click on the level that we've copied over and I right click there's also an option but it's grayed out which means it's not related to any plan so if you want it to be related to any plan don't copy your levels over to the architectural levels you literally let me just delete this one to show you the difference again. 
if I click on this one and I say CS for create similar, I click on that line and then I click here. And you'll see there's a level seven that has popped up here at the left, which means we've generated a layout from this specific level. So I pull that out. You can see it's more bluish. Th this line is black and that one is, is bluish just to show the difference. So now if you want to make sure that the level names are the same as the architectural ones, we can literally click on it, double click on it, and then you can type in your foundation name or whatever name you want to call it. And you'll see it's also updated on your structural plans, which is great. Now, once we've done all this, you want to make sure that this architectural model does not move in any way okay so we're just going to click on this and we're going to go to the top here and pin it so that if we want to try and move this mv or keyboard shortcut it says you can't move pinned element that's what we want okay so that's how you bring in the levels now we also want to bring in the grids so how you do that is you go you can do it one of two ways you go to structure the first example go to grids and then you go to quick lines now you can literally click on this line and it gives you grid line one and then two three etc now if we want to do the abc you're going to click on it see it popped up on the right hand side you can just click on that bring it up on this side so here it's four but we don't want the number four, we want A. So you click on it and you literally rename it to A. Now it's going to do the alphabetical order. If you click this one, it's going to be B. I'll show you that side. So click here, C. So there's a D. There's an E. F. And a G. Okay, so that's the one way of doing it. This is the, I would say, the bit longer way. But there's no wrong or right it's up to yourself so the other way is you go to collaborate then we would go and click here on copy and monitor select link so this is the link that we've imported so if you hover over it you'll see it turns blue and it gives you the name then once you've clicked on it there's a tab that opens here at the top now you can literally click on copy you can say multiple and we can highlight this whole drawing and then we go to filter here say check none pick the grids say okay all right you see all the grids are selected now you press press finish and now what it's doing is it's monitoring the level of the grids with reference to the architectural one that's not necessary because grids don't usually change in a architectural model so we can just say stop monitoring and then we say here finish now we've imported this and the reason i know it's imported is because if you click on this you can actually move it and you'll see the architectural one is still in the background so i'm just going to move this up and then just to show you the difference i'm going to say vv for visibility graphics and go to rivet links I'm going to say, I want to just change this to a half tone. So what it's going to do, it's just going to gray it out. So you can see this is the architectural stuff. Let me just move this so you can see the difference. So if you, if you then want to remove the architectural grids, because you still want to use the architectural background, but with your structural elements, we don't want to see the grids of the architect. You go VV again for visibility graphics. Go to rivet links again you click on this by host view then we want to change it to custom this is how you can edit it so once we've changed this to custom you can then go to model categories you can also change this to custom but we want to focus on the annotation category click on this one again we say custom now you can scroll down and search for grids or easier way you just search the name here there it is 
can click on grids and then we're going to say apply okay apply okay now you can see the architectural grids aren't on this level anymore and that is what we want so that's as easy as it can be to bring in the architectural levels and grids just to show you on the east elevation you can also remove the architectural uh, levels and grids on this specific elevation we just go vv just to show you in a, the, this example if you click on by host view again change this to custom you can go to annotation categories change to custom then we can search for grids if you untick it then we search for levels also untick that one apply okay and okay here you can see the architectural levels aren't here anymore and the grids of the architect if i just move this up there's no grids shown here so that is how you import an architectural rivet model the linker rivet model to your rivet structural model and bring in the levels of the architect and also the grids so guys like and subscribe if you want more of these type of content please let me know in the comments or um, via email if there's any specific files or uh, examples that you guys want me to do i'll be more than willing to show you guys more examples thanks guys